Hey, welcome back. Now, in this part of the videos, what we're doing is cutting some time by using the DA uh, with some 320 grit sandpaper on there. And we're just cutting down some of the glaze putty and our 2K filler primer. Now, you gotta remember, Gary here is a first timer using the DA here. Uh, but the main important thing is to keep it flat on the surface. Uh, even if it's the tip. So if you see, I taught him this little technique here. Uh, he's doing it correctly here by pushing it. The pad is soft, the backing is soft. So what do you think about body work? Dusty or what? Dusty, but good. <laughs> so we got all the dents out. Everything's uh, everything's fixed, all right? Ready for final sanding now. We're gonna do a water sand, uh, 400 grit. All the panels, we're gonna wash it down with our hand uh, with 400 grit. Uh, then we're gonna wash it off good, then mask it and shoot it. That's the plan. So let's go ahead and wash it down and uh, go from there. Now if you want to, you could use a block uh, with this sanding technique here, but if you're comfortable, you could even use your hand. And in the main course of the auto body course, uh, I explained to you that it's, it's never cold. good to just keep sanding in one section too long with your well, fingers because you're gonna create Perfect. grooves in your paint, right? It's always do. good to go in a circular motion or use your palm and keep moving. This way you sand evenly and you don't put <laughs> creases and grooves into your paint by staying in one spot too long. So here's what I'm talking about. We're using a 1K Rust-Oleum primer. And we're just gonna hit all the blue spots, the metal spots, cover it because you don't wanna paint over plain glaze putty or any kind of metal or body filler, right? You always wanna paint over uh, a primer unless it's regular paint, right? Like clear coat paint on a car like this green here. We could paint directly over that, no problem. So here all we're doing is just masking up the truck. And the reason why you tuck it inside is because when you're spraying the hood, the overspray is gonna go up. So you want it to go, it's gonna flow up, up to the brown paper and right up to the plastic. If you did it the other way, uh, you know, overspray could go underneath, but you're still gonna ta tape it anyway. But this is the way I like to do it. Okay, so this is my father's trick. Uh, he always got a, a little, uh, two pieces of toilet paper, right? Because usually this goes on your mask like that, okay? So what he does is put a little toilet paper on it, takes the, uh, the heavy stuff out, and then we put it on like this. So it's like a little pre-filter. Pre the 400 grit here, all right? It's a quarter piece, folding it down to an eighth here. And all we're gonna do is scuff up what we just primed. And you wanna go very lightly because it's just a light coat and if we sand too much, it's gonna get back down to metal again and it's, there's no sense, right? So lightly, that's all we wanna do, okay? You could come up in here a little bit more. There's overspray like in there. There you go. Okay, now we're at the wax and grease removing stage, wiping all of our panels down with wax and grease remover, taking off the finger oils uh, because the worst thing to paint is oil. Oil is the enemy or any sort of wax or silicone. So that's what we're doing. We're washing all the panels down nicely. Uh, once this step is done, then we are gonna mix our paint up, then tack it down, okay? Tack rag is the final step. And then we will start our base coat. 